Well, more information for you now on Governor Hochul. The 62-year-old is a native of Buffalo and a Syracuse University graduate. As a young attorney, she was an aide to Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan. She then served 14 years as a town council member in Hamburg, which is south of Buffalo. In 2007, then-Governor Spitzer announced that he would appoint her clerk of Erie County. In 2011, she went on to Congress after winning a special election in New York's 26th district. She lost a re-election bid a year later. Hochul is married to Bill Hochul, a former U.S. attorney, and they have two grown children. But today, of course, it is her new job that has everyone talking. She has made history and inspiring hope. CBS 2's Jessica Layton continues our team coverage live now from Albany. Jessica. Well, Maurice and Christine, some of the key words I've been hearing around the Capitol today are cooperation and collaboration, something that both Republicans and Democrats say, frankly, there has been lacking here at the Capitol under the Cuomo administration in recent years. So today, a renewed sense of hope in Kathy Hochul. From the folks in line for lunch at the downtown Albany food truck. I think it's great a woman is now becoming, uh, you know, a governor of New York. Well, I think she's got her own stance, her own thoughts, and her own agenda. To the legislators on the third floor of the Capitol building, there's a sense of renewed hope in state government today. This is probably the happiest time for me to be in the minority. Assembly so, Speaker um, Carl Hasty is talking about being the only man in the legislative leaders meeting with the state's first female governor, Kathy Hochul, and Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins. And it's good to see all of you. Hope everybody's vaccinated. Stewart Cousins used that thought to kick off her speech after the leaders' meeting, symbolic of the administration's priority to beat the pandemic. But given the epidemic of scandal and a toxic culture at the Capitol, I asked her how it felt to wake up to a new political era. It feels good. It absolutely feels good. And it is. Uh, it's, it's a sense of, you know, whatever has to be done, we will do in order to make the, the lives of New Yorkers better. And that's always good. I mean, I think that we all are here for that. The confidence in Hochul to change the tone is coming from both sides of the aisle. She just strikes me as a very genuine person. I think Republican Assemblywoman Mary Beth Walsh says she went up to the governor's office today to drop off a congratulations across note. Across the aisle. Because I think that that's important and I just wanted her to, you know, get it from me. Do you think it'll be easier to work with her across the aisle than Governor Cuomo. I don't think there was any working across the aisle with Governor Cuomo. Assembly Republican leader Will Barkley says she called him last week and now they have got to get beyond the distractions of the Cuomo downfall. Yeah. But I did like what the new governor, Governor Hochul, said about bringing faith back to New Yorkers and to government. That's, I think, probably your number one priority and I support her in doing that. And I can tell you lawmakers are very encouraged that Governor Kathy Hochul seems to be ready to hit the ground running and really get to work on those priorities because given all those distractions in the last few months, they say they need to make up for lost time. That's the latest live from the state capitol in Albany tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. All right, Jessica, thank you.